What does a pro triathlete eat in a day? I'm guessing it doesn't look anything like this. Well, we are about to find out as pro triathlete Sarah Crowley has very kindly shared us a complete behind the scenes day of all the food she eats and the training she does. First, a quick bit about Sarah. She's a multiple Ironman winner and she's finished on the podium at Coda. An actual fact, when she filmed this, she'd recently won an Ironman Australia and she was preparing for Ironman Cairns. And with just five weeks in between these two big races, we're incredibly grateful that she managed to fit in the time to do some filming for us. But before we actually take a look at her day, just a quick reminder to click on the bell icon, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future GTN videos. And now it's time for me to sit back and I'm gonna hand over to Sarah the Pro. So, at the moment, I'm in between two Ironmans. So, I just raced Ironman Australia and I'm going to race Ironman Cairns. So, coffee is really important. Um, yeah, and we're doing kind of a lot of strength endurance training and stuff just to keep the strength up between the two races. So today is a bit of a strengthy kind of day, um, but tomorrow's a little bit harder because we've got triple bike, so, oops, tired. So I'll eat a fair few carbohydrates, I think. If you don't have one, you need one, an AeroPress. <laughs> Not sponsored. Basically rain, hail or shine, I generally eat oats, <laughs> first thing, it's a good start. Um, but yeah, I add apple, I always have cinnamon, almonds and I like dried cranberries as well, so yeah. Um, so I usually add cinnamon for flavour, it's my favourite spice. Um, and then I add some other toppings from some micronutrients, I guess, some, some almonds because I like them, I like cranberries as well, and some apple. Most people have banana, but I like apple. And then I also just throw in a bit of milk, and there we are. Pretty much 365 breakfast for me. Training's been hard because we've been recovering from training and building for more training um, and also I guess at the moment yeah we're trying to just hold strength and hold endurance so um, yeah today is a pretty big day we've actually had quite a lot of long days with not too many rest days um, so today I'll be eating quite a lot of carbohydrates to um, maintain energy for tomorrow which is another big day of triple bike but um, Specifically today, I guess, training, we've got sort of like a heart rate set in the pool, which is going to be pretty hard. Um, and then a strength set on the bike with um, some long, slow um, cadence stuff. Um, and yeah, with a little bit of recovery in between and then a little little run off the bike. Um, so I'll be fueling quite a bit so that I can recover from that and train for tomorrow and prepare for tomorrow as well. Well, pros don't just spend all day eating. It's time to follow Sarah as she heads to the pool. So um, today we've just got a bit of a heart rate set with um, a series of 100s, um, but I recommend doing this set with the time cycle in short course pool, which we have today, so yay. Um, yeah. Sarah alluded that her session was a toughie. I thought you guys might like the details, so here's the main set that she completed. Why not screenshot this and see how far you can get? Anyway, back to the reason of this video. What does a pro eat? 
So I've just woken up from a nap after a big long swim. Um, I'm gonna make one of my favorite easy meals for lunch, which is avo, well, Vegemite avocado and bacon on toast. Um, it's pretty easy, but I find it quite filling. It's like a second breakfast for me. Streaky bacon's the best. Good black stuff. Yeah, so I guess this meal's got like quite a bit of fat in it because there's the fats and oils in the avocado and the fat in the in the bacon. Um, I guess the bacon gives a bit of protein to the meal, um, but it's not really like a high fiber kind of like salady meal. But you know, we've got a big sort of day tomorrow and need a bit of a fair bit of energy. So um, yeah, this will be this will store some energy for tomorrow and. Um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> probably top up in a day or so with a whole big salad and, and everything else, but got to get the fuel in at the moment. Yeah, so we're two weeks out from an Ironman and we've just done an Ironman, so it's um, pretty solid training. It's sort of between five and seven hours most days. Um, so finding ways to get good calories or lots of calories is... Um, challenging at times and you do actually have to resort to after you've gone through like you know uh, protein drinks and everything you do sometimes have to resort to snacks um, which you'll see in a minute because I, I will have some chocolate and coffee and stuff but yeah it's it's hard to keep on top of it um, not so much that you're losing weight but more so that you're actually fueling training sessions it's you need to fuel the training sessions um, otherwise yeah, what's the point? If you're not training at your maximum potential, you can't achieve what you need to achieve to improve. So I think it's, it's like the fourth leg of triathlon is the nutrition always. So yeah. Well, it's all looking rather appetizing so far, but I think I heard Sarah mention some chocolate. Now, I doubt she consumes it in the quantities as I do, but I'm intrigued to know what she treats herself with. So to get me through this next session, which is a little bit of a brick, which we're gonna do, um, I'll have another coffee, um, but also just a nice little snack is um, some chocolate covered rice cakes. I actually get these from Aldi. Um, you can get them in Australia and Europe, not sure about the US, but yeah, totally a favorite snack of mine. Now, the original idea was for me to copy Sarah for the day, not just with her food, but her training as well. Now, this is where I'm glad I've decided to just narrate. Today's kind of rainy, um, but we've got to keep the, um, the volume up. So we're doing an indoor session that's two and a half hours, but it'll be a strength endurance session with 20 minutes warm up, and then five by one minute at 40 RPM, one minute easy. And that set gets repeated five times, so five blocks of 30 minutes. Um, yeah, so I'll probably take a banana during it and then um, that'll keep me going and then we'll have a run off the bike for 30 minutes, so it's like a little mini brick. Um, yeah, and then try and get some protein in straight away. A bit bigger dinner tonight because tomorrow's a really big day, so yeah, big afternoon really, three hours. Okay, so that's the end of another long day of training for me. Um, I've just got a 30 minute run now. Good luck, Heather. Um, I'm just gonna go do this. It's actually getting quite dark because it's uh, getting quite late here in Australia. Um, I'll get back and eat up big with pizza for tomorrow and um, yeah, keep fueling things for the next Ironman. So it's been a big day. I've just got back from my run. I'm actually a bit tired. I've got another big day tomorrow, so I'm gonna prepare a, quite a large meal with pizza and quite carbohydrate um, heavy. But in the meantime, whilst I'm making it, I'm gonna suck on a sausage because it has protein in it and a whole raft of other 
nutrients. So um, I often have one of these straight after a long session so I can fill the gap in between preparing a meal and, um, and eating it. So yeah, um, pizza's my favorite. It's really easy, really quick, and um, usually leaves me with a lot of energy for tomorrow. Okay, so the pizza turned out great and uh, I use pizza stone so it's nice and crispy because that's my favorite. So looking forward to getting stuck into this, but um, yeah, it's one of my favorite things when I've got a big day coming up, just have a homemade pizza. So I always finish the day with just my micronutrition, like to make sure that you know, you're topping up on top of all the food you've eaten for the day and getting the things that you specifically need with the amount of stress that we put on our body. So yeah, I usually um, always take magnesium at night just because of what it can do with your stomach. But also, um, yeah, I take a few other things like vitamin D and calcium and things for my bones and some stuff to help with immunity, especially at the moment with everyone getting sick with COVID and flus and everything else. So I usually do it at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, it does depend on when you do drink coffee and all those things that can affect um, some of the vitamins. So make sure you take them around the right times. But um, usually for me, it's at night. Um, but yeah, usually I'll wake up the next day. It also helps me get hydrated before I go to bed. So tops it up a little bit at the end of the day. Hmm, I think I could cope with being a pro. Okay, some elements of being a pro. Sadly though, I don't think eating pizza or drinking copious amounts of coffee is going to get me winning any Ironmans. But Sarah, thank you so much for sharing such an insight into your day, both your training and your nutrition. And I do hope you'll forgive me for opting out of that training. It looked a bit of a tough day. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes of a pro. If so, do give us a like and make sure you check out Sarah's YouTube as well. And remember, you can subscribe to GTN to make sure you don't miss any of our videos. But in the meantime, I'm going to work on one aspect of being a pro.